Let's take a look at conjunctions today. Conjunctions connect words. Let's see conjunctions at work in these sentences. Bill passed all of his exams. Blank, he had worked very hard. Now, I'm going to ask you to read these sentences with me and try to complete them with a conjunction. I love peanut butter, blank jelly. I was hungry, blank, I did not eat. Choose one, fries, blank pizza. John was full, blank, he kept on eating. I studied, blank, I passed my test. Now, the last one is neither the coach, blank the player, wanted to stop trying. Well, try to place one of these conjunctions and, so, for, but, yet, or, nor, into each of these blanks to complete these sentences. Pause the video for a moment and try to work it out and see what you get. Doesn't have to be perfect, but pause for a second and try to figure out which conjunction, which joining word goes into each of these sentences. I'll be waiting for you to take a minute. All right. Okay, now you're back. Let's see which word can complete these sentences. Bill passed all of his exams. That's right, for he had worked very hard. And notice this conjunction for is like the word because. I love peanut butter and jelly. You got it. And is a word that simply adds or just connects by addition. I was hungry, but I did not eat. Now, but is a crucial conjunction. It's, it's essential. It's necessary. Very important. What it does is it shows a contrast or an opposing view point between one part of the sentence and another. So I was hungry, but I didn't eat. See, there's a contrast between I was hungry, I did not eat. If you were hungry, you should eat. But the opposite things happen. The opposite thing happens. So we put but here to show the contrast between these parts of the sentence. Conjunctions connect words and show relationships like contrast, like addition, like cause and effect. All right, choose one. Fries, yep, or pizza. Now this shows one or the other, right? An alternative. John was full, yet he kept on eating. And here yet functions much like the word but, showing a contrast. I studied, so I passed my test. Now here is a cause and effect conjunction. Something I did led to something else. Cause and effect. This last one, we don't use too often, but it's good to know. Neither nor. Neither the coach nor the player wanted to stop trying. This is like or with a negative. Okay? All right, so look at your conjunctions again. For, and, but, or, yet, so, nor. Hey, let's take a look at this and see what they spell. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. And if you look at the first letters there, you'll see it spells fanboys. F-A-N-B-O-Y-S, fanboys. That's a great way to remember conjunctions that coordinate or join parts of sentences equally. Fanboys, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. You've got it. Now, later on, we'll study something called subordinating conjunctions. We'll take a look at that later, okay? All right, great job.